so Rolo, what is a woman? Oh my goodness. Well, it depends on who you ask, right? We need to have a, either an objective uh, opinion of what that is, which is what, uh, I mean, ostensibly, which is what Matt Walsh was trying to achieve with this documentary. Now, I, Matt Walsh, if you're watching, I feel used. I feel very, very used by you <laughs> because I, um, I actually turned down an interview with um, uh, Dr. Phil at one point. Um, he wanted, this was in, uh, August or September of 2020. And really all they, all his producers wanted was for me to go on the show and sort of like lose my mind at Tommy Laren at the time. Cause I, I guess I showed up in the algorithm somehow and that wasn't my brand. I was, I didn't want to have to have that kind of, you know, back and forth. Mm -hmm. It was too much red meat, I guess at the time. However, when I saw Matt Walsh on the Dr. Phil show, this was back in November and he's there with I can't, I don't know the person's name. I just call him the bearded lady. Mm -hmm. And it's a, uh, it's a transgender man Cause. who, um, he was on there with uh, a couple of transgender men and I think some sort of college professor who the was bearded think, lady. a gender Pull study. Matt Walsh, the bearded lady. <laughs> it, it'll show up. I probably yeah, bring up my, right my video on it. Um, but it, during that, that conversation, um, it was really this back and forth between, you know, Wanting to get this empirical, objective, standardized, uh, there you go, um, this this objective definition, and that's really kind of not what Matt is after in this. It's really more like red meat for the conservative uh, you know, talking point, you know, red meat for uh, viewers of, the, of Daily Wire is what it is. And again, you know, that's neither here nor there. But what what gets me is that there is sort of this ostensibly there's this want to know. Um, a, a, an objective, definitive, like, is it, is it biological? Is it, is it, it you know, gender is a, a social construct? What is it? And it, 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 you're just going, you're just getting the same sort of emotionalism on the woke side, the, the, you know, bearded lady side of things. And then you've got, uh, Matt Walsh on the opposite side, who's really trying to hit it from another like emotionalist argument, which is really about moralism and, and, and ethics and, and, uh, religion. And this is just the, the way thing, this is right and wrong, right? Versus, well, uh, ambiguity, like deliberate ambiguity about it. And it's really an emotionalist argument versus another emotionalist argument. And somewhere in between there is the empirical data that says, here's what a woman actually is. OK, can we can we cut the shit? And please, can we just get to an empirical uh, definition of this? And the reason for that is like I and I explained this when I first watched the uh, the the Dr. Phil interview um, is you're never going to get that empirical, definitive, uh, objective answer from the sort of woke, wokesy left side of things, because the moment they do is the moment their entire identity collapses. That this guy, the the bearded ladies, and I'm using this as an example mm -hmm. of of a greater whole and all of this. But once you have a definitive answer, if it's not ambiguous, if it's not subjective, if it's not relative, if it's not something that you can go, well, you know, it's all defined by the person kind of thing. Once you say, no, a woman is this and you're not it, mm -hmm. that's when the conversation dies. And that, as I've said before, if there is no boogeyman, no one gets paid. So when Matt and Matt Walsh is engaging in exactly the same boogeyman side of things that the other opposite side is, is as well. So it's this back and forth and they both make money off of this. Can you, uh, can you imagine being as pig headed as Matt Walsh? Can you imagine being as woke as the bearded lady? That that's what gets eyes on the screen. That's mm -hmm. what gets, it's the car crash in NASCAR. Nobody watches to, to see who wins the race. They want to see who crashes the car, right? That's the car crash right there. And so what Matt has done is uh, I thought that this was sort of uh, it, when I first saw the Dr. Phil interview, I thought that it was supposed to be something that was like just this one off kind of thing where he's asking what is a woman? No, it was actually it was meant to be content for a future documentary, which is now out, which is what is a woman. Mm. So what Matt has done is he's gone around the world. And he's uh, gone to women's marches. He's gone to he's interviewed uh, like politicians, uh, congresswomen, uh, congressmen, uh, senators, whatever, um, uh, college professors who are teaching gender studies, uh, uh, doctors who are, do, are performing um, uh, transgender, like uh, from you know one sex to another yeah, reassignment. sex. Reassignment. Uh, was it hormone blockers? We were just talking about um, how Biden just uh, signed off on uh, the fact that they're never they're no longer going to t to to talk about how tr being transgender is 
a behavioral decision, which is funny because it's a, it goes entirely against what the argument was on Dr. Phil from the, the bearded lady side of things. Gender is a social construct. There's a difference or there's a separation between sex and gender. That is categorically false. And you can prove that it is false. Because if you go and you look at, say, well, I think it was the four laws of uh, behavioral genetics. You look at the, look that up at some point. But um we can we can show and we can prove that gender is actually has a biological evolutionary component to it. That's why we call it sexual dimorphism. You're never going to have that conversation when the bearded lady or the feminist's uh, professor is trying to take digs at you, like who hurt you or why is this so important to you? You know, is there something wrong with you? Maybe you're questioning your sexuality. Why are you so insecure in your masculinity? All of those responses are emotional responses. That's emotionalism. It's an attempt to take away this empirical want for a definitive answer and go, well, the reason why you want that answer is because there's something very wrong with you. You must be insecure. You must have a small PP or something like that, compensating, right? And so what happens is when we get to the point where we're, he's doing the, the documentary and he's going and having these back and forth, it's, I mean, I like the premise of it, but I think the delivery and the execution of it is really, really bad simply because all it is doing is it's, <laughs> it's tapping into the fresh and fit template of, um, of sort of podcasting, like that sensationalism, because people will get really upset with Myron and Fresh for kicking women off the, off the show. We had, uh, what was it, Brody was on here, and she was uh, really, really upset and said, oh, I think they're closet misogynists and everything, because they won't let you talk and they'll just kick you off the show and just indiscriminately, which is completely false. But they do, that's the template, though. That's the car crash that, they're lo- that the, the audience is looking for. Mm-hmm. So they go, yeah, get her, get her, get her, get her. The Jerry Springer. Well, right, well, Matt does exactly the same thing template in what is a woman so what he does is he gets these these people on uh whether it's somebody uh on the street or it's the senator or it's the uh the the gender studies professor or whoever gets them into the interview and then says you know puts them on the spot there and they can't answer the question or they can't give a definitive answer to the question he just sort of paints them into this logical corner and what do they do they rage quit they go oh i think this interview is over and they Mm -hmm. storm off the thing all they've done is what Myron calls Frank Castling, right? It's kicking them off the stage, except for they do it themselves. And it's the same exact template from the people who would have a problem with Myron and Fresh doing it. But it's OK when Matt Walsh does it. Hmm. I'm wondering if you Google what is a woman, what shows up? Like, Is this like this is so not anything that I ever think. What is a man? Was I'm just they don't. I'm, and, and he I'm a dude. I, I he do, do things. He doesn't it. want an answer because yeah. because as long as there is no answer, everybody gets paid. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another. Or if you want to watch the entire Sauzcast, click right here.